Hello friends, now that you finished uh, listening to the non-fiction book uh, of Fish Faces by Norbert Wu, I want to show you some more pictures and ask you some questions and I'll give you some time to do some thinking and, um, and maybe you can find some answers to my questions. All right, let's start with the first one. So we see a picture of um, two fish, very bright colored fish. These two fish are swimming in the ocean. They have bright colors. The fish look like they are staring at me. And so I want you to look at those uh, colors, the bright colors, and uh, how many fish do you see? And uh, are the colors the same or different on each fish? Take a look at them. And where do you think the fish are? Where do you think they're swimming? And do you think they're the same size? Hmm, lots of questions. So take a look at the picture. We're looking at the colors of the fish, the size of the fish. Uh, we're, we're looking to see if the fish are the same or different. Okay. Now let's go to the second picture. Oh, I see very two different ones. One of these fish is round. It is called the guinea fowl puffer fish. The other one is very thin and it's called the coronet fish. Okay, point to the tin fish. And what shape do you think the other fish is? What shape? Which of these fish is thin and which of these fish is round? And where do you think the fish live? How are the thin fish and the round fish alike? There are some features that may be similar. And then there are features that are different. How are they different? Okay, let's look at the third image. These three fish have spots on them. Two fish have blue spots and one fish has white spots. The fish are surrounded by coral and other living things and they all live in the ocean. Find a fish that has the white spots. How many fish do you see? What colors are the spots on the three fish? Can you see all the three fish and their, their, their colored spots? What surrounds the fish? What do you see, think is around all those fish? How are they alike? And how are they different? Let's look at the third one. Oh my goodness. The first thing I see are those big bulgy eyes. The fish has big red rings around its eyes. It's called a spot jaw blenny. What is around its eyes? What can you see around its eyes? Are the rings big or are they small? What do the fish's eyes look like? Hmm. I wonder. They look like big balloons to me. What do you think? These fish have faces that look friendly. The fish look like they are smiling. These are not the scary ones. Do you think these fish look friendly? Why? Why do you think these fish look friendly? What facial features show you that make you, t uh, you see, that make you think that the fish are friendly fish?
and our last picture. This one had fish with friendly faces and I have a feeling that the next one may have fish with not so friendly faces. Oh my goodness, was I right? Look at that scary fish. This fish has a face that makes it look fierce. It is called a deep sea viper fish. Do you think this fish looks scary? And what do you think makes the fish look scary? And now I get to show you both pictures. Do you think, um, well, I mean, is this fish different from the other fish? Are these two fish different? They look like they may be the same size. They both have eyes. They both have teeth, um, but they do look very different to me. All right, well, thank you for listening, and hopefully you had an opportunity to participate and think about the different, um, the different characteristics of the different fish that um, Norbert Wu showed us in his, uh, in his book, Fish Faces. And hopefully you'll have some time now to open um, the activity, the fish faces activity, and work on that. And when it's finished, have mom or dad take a picture of it and make sure to send it to me. Because I'd love to see all your work. Good job, friends.